I was very afraid of him. Mm -hmm. um, but I did make the decision to leave and I started seeing another guy. I cut it off with, I cut it off with him and kept a friendship with him. And that is John, uh, not with John, oh, okay. um, with, with, with the, guy the other guy seeing. that I was seeing. Gotcha. Um, <clears throat> and he lived in Las Vegas as well. And mm -hmm. this is the man that John also attempted to kill. Mm -hmm. Um, so that night, I was texting with John, flirting with him. It was very common for us, like, because we had that on and off relationship yeah. for a year and a half. Mm -hmm. So I was texting with John, and then I was supposed to do a, a like, a signing at a casino the next day. Mm -hmm. So my friend that I had previously been seeing stayed over with me. He was going to help me set up the next day. Mm -hmm. And John broke into my house. And just started going to town. He started beating my friend and I called the police. The police didn't come. I just uh, tried, call tried calling again. Um, and then very quickly deleted the calls from my phone because I knew he was coming for me next. Um, Jesus Christ. I, I mean, did the cops say they were coming? I wasn't like listening on the phone. I was, you can hear the 911 calls online. Uh -huh. um, there's just a lot of screaming mostly. Yeah. Um, but I deleted the phone calls because I knew he was going to go through my phone. Right. Uh, it was a very common thing for him to do. Right. <clears throat> so after that, I don't know how in depth you would like me to go with the story. <laughs> like, whatever you want, whatever you want to say. Yeah, this is not um, new information. Yeah. Like this is, you know, very publicly available online. Right. Um, but he essentially let my friend go. My friend didn't end up calling the police. Um, he just went home. He just, he just left. <laughs> he just left. He, he just, just left. left you in the house. Yeah. With with the John. man that he knew had beaten me previously, so right. he knew what was going to happen. Right. Um, and John had actually attacked me before he had left the house, because there's no way he had gotten to the door in the amount of time that it took. Right. Yeah. And then John was in the house torturing me and beating me for hours. Um, so at any time... Like, I was just hoping the police would show up. Nothing. Um, and I had to... Sorry, I'm going to cry. No, no, it's okay. We can also stop at any time. No, it's all right. Thank you. Um, I remember laying on the floor <laughs> trying to give him reasons not to kill me. <laughs> and eventually I thought he was seeing reason, and I thought he was going to leave. Um, he took my phone and went downstairs into my kitchen. <laughs> and I could hear him <laughs> going through my drawers. And he was looking for a knife to kill me with. And I just knew I had to get up and leave that house. Um, I was naked. I was bleeding everywhere. And I ended up escaping and uh, just running down the streets, knocking on doors. It's 3 a.m. Nobody's letting me in. And I thought, you know, this is going to give him another opportunity to, to come gonna after me. He's going to find you. He's yeah. going to find me. Um, and eventually, one of the houses let me hide behind a bush in their front yard. <laughs> They let you, so they didn't let you in, but they Nobody let you let me into the house. Jesus Christ. Um, I had three people come to their <clears throat> doors, um, but nobody would open the door. No one would let me in. Um, 
so I eventually passed out behind their bush um, and got into an ambulance and I remember waking up in the hospital and it was later confirmed all of my knives were laid out on my counter. He was looking for a knife to kill me with. Oh my God. <laughs> but honestly, I don't, I wouldn't take back anything that's happened to me mm -hmm. because it's given me a voice. It's yeah. given me a purpose. It has allowed me to help so many more people in similar, if not worse, situations than I was in, mm -hmm. um, find their own voices and make an escape before what happened to me happens to them. Yeah. And that's, it makes it all, I don't want to say it makes it worth it, but yeah. it does. It makes me feel better for knowing I've made a positive impact on people's lives through my own suffering. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.